Hello there, this is Ashra from Zenon Studios. Uh, previously in uh, tutorials we learned how to construct this project um, up to this level. I'm putting links to all those videos in the description. Uh, please go ahead and look at them. Today I want us to roof this um, project. I want us to put a roof to it. Perfect, so I'm going to head over to my ground plan. Perfect, and I want to put my roof on the roof story. So head over to your right and you're going to click the roof. Perfect, as you can see now we have a clean slate, but then I need to use my ground floor as my reference. So what you do is simply right click the ground floor and click show as trace reference perfect and as you can see we can see this now so i'm going to click my roof tool and uh, there are many ways of constructing roofs geometry single plane i'm going to use the multi-plane method and i'm going to use the complex roof um, construction method Perfect, so I'll simply start from here. Then the next node is this, that, 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 finally close it off right there. And as you can see, Akikad will actually draw a roof for us. So we found um, we head over into our 3D here. Um, you can see that uh, the roof is actually way misplaced. So that means there is a problem with our values. So I'm going to select the roof, go over into its settings. And uh, we want this to be zero because the home story is actually the roof so we want this to be zero all we can simply change this we want this to be 3000 from the project zero and as you can see if i put 3000 this figure here value changes to zero perfect i'm also going to change the pitch i want it to be 34 then i'm going to um change this to uh this roof here not this generic i'm changing this to this then i'm changing the width to 75 okay then uh, under multiplane geometry i want the ifs offset to be just um about 500 which is still very big i want it to be 400 perfect and i'm going to hit okay and just like that our roof will sit exactly on our project perfect now you can change a few things here you can change the color of the roof so i'm going to select this roof i want to change its color so i want uh, you you're going to head over here to model i want um, this here to have a, a little blue color then the surface up i want it to be um i want it to be corrugated sheet mat you can change it to whatever you want i'm going to make it that and i'm going to hit okay uh, okay perfect and um, we have something like that which is still not compelling i'm going to change that color to another one so come over here and uh, uh, there are very many roofs in here. Let me try this. Hit OK. Um, okay. Okay, we can go with this, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if people like this color. You can try another one. So you can play with these, you can change to whatever color that you want and uh, there are very many roofs in here so please go ahead and do whatever you want. Let me do this, great. Uh, okay, 
I'm going to set up this perfect and that is our roof now someone is asking what if I wanted to create a gable end let's say right here what can I do and that's a very simple one simply head over to your roof plan and you're going to simply now as you can see our roof here is showing a cover fill so to turn that off simply select the roof go into its settings uh, floor plan and section head over down here and simply turn off the cover fill and um, hit ok and just like that the cover fill will be no more perfect and uh, so you may decide to keep the cover fill no worries then i want um i want this end here to be a gable end so what do i do simply select the roof right click your screen and head over to this option split into single plane roofs hit it uh, a warning comes but i'm going to say split anyway so our roof is now split into single plane uh, that what that means is uh, if i suspend groups here I can select that roof as a plane, single plane. I can select that as a single plane. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is actually select that plane and hit delete. Because for the gable end, we don't need that roof over there, that roof plane over there. So if I head over to my 3D, you can see that um, I've actually deleted a plane over here. We have no roof covering over here. So head over back to your floor plan or roof plan, select this roof plane and also select this. Then you want to click at that node and you want to move this node outwards to that place right there. Perfect. So if we head back into our 3D, um, um, let a keycard load. Um, okay, a keycard is taking credit. Right Perfect, as you can see now, um, as you can see, we now have a perfect gable roof over there. Okay, now what can we do to make sure that this wall actually goes, um, is trimmed to the roof over there? So what you're going to do is to simply select this wall and also select that wall then you want to actually raise so come over here and uh, stretch height so you're going to stretch the height beyond the roof just like that okay and then with the wall selected simply hit right click here go over to connect and go into the solid element operations then you want to add your walls as the target because it's what you're trimming and then you want to select the roof I'm, just, I'm going to click this and turn this off uh, okay so shift and uh, I want to select this roof and the whole roof will be selected and I want it to to be added as the operator and uh, the operation is subtraction with upward extrusion I want everything beyond the roof to be subtracted away so click that and execute and uh, Akikad will do that for you just like that perfect and there we have our roof so that's our house for now thank you for watching please like and subscribe to this channel and uh, give this video a thumbs up see you in my next tutorial